How y'all doing? I even had a fun little intro and it didn't happen because of my friggin' mic. And now it's too late, it's been ruined. So, Tin Can. Tin Can. Uh, this is a kind of a panic based survival experience where your escape pod is kind of crumbling beneath your feet and uh, you have to swap parts and make fixes to keep it going as long as you can. Um, I don't know exactly how it plays. I haven't seen any gameplay of it. I've owned it in early access for quite some time, but it just released today. So as soon as I saw that release date, I figured I'd wait and I put it off until release day. So here we are. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I, I stream almost every freaking night. I've never, I've, I think I've only had it like twice where my mic would not work correctly out the gate and all I have to do is unplug it and replug it. This one I actually had to manually set my OBS capture back to pick that, that device. So I don't know what the hell happened. Gila. Hi. Sir. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> Other end. Kitty. <laughs> Hello, Gila. Hello, Gila. So, um, my understanding is that this is kind of short individual gameplay sessions until you figure out what the hell you're doing. I'm gonna die a lot. I'm gonna panic a lot. So, we're gonna play this until we all collectively decide that we're tired of it. And then um, we'll probably switch over to something like phoning home to keep the space theme alive. And because I don't have time to play that one until at least Tuesday. So I'd like to get at least a little bit of that in sometime soon here. So, tin can. In space, tech support can't hear you scream. Seems appropriate. Uh, everyone can hear me okay now that my mic is alive and I'm not... I think I'm kind of competing for the music, but I'm not sure, so let me know. Uh, let's see. Maintain your beacon online for rescuers to find you and unlock new components and systems to survive longer each time. So that sounds very much like a roguelike type situation. Um, challenges to survive. A little loud. Okay. I'm going to keep the sound effects loud, but music can chill. It's not doing anything at all. Uh, that's because there's a menu ball. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, tips enabled, yes, because I don't know what I'm doing. Do we have a tutorial? We do have a tutorial. Wonderful. Learn the fundamentals of Tin Can before exploring the pod further on your own. Now, this does have a VR mode. Uh, apparently, their current version of VR is not fantastic, and they have a full VR free DLC coming. No, not meow. Not not meow coming later. Say it with me. Later. No? No? Okay. Um, but I think we'll give it a try once VR comes out officially. I don't think I want to try in its current state because I think the devs kind of made it clear they're not even proud of the, the VR version in its current state. So we'll, we'll just try this out. Um, move and interact. Sure. We'll, we're do, we're doing the, t the, the tutorials. Because I'd like to know what I'm doing. Hey, Jerry. Uh, can you hear me? Could you do me a favor? I was supposed to do the maintenance of one of our old Medusa escape pod, but I'm stuck in the engine room fixing our damn reactor. Oh. Could you leave your cleaning trolley for a minute and uh, help me out? Just get inside the pod. You can't miss it. You're right next to it. Pod. All right, pod. Uh, I'm getting. It's not. It's not FPS issues, but it's behaving like FPS issues. Like I'm. I'm rocking a solid 60, but it's got weird stuttering kind of look to it. There's setting for that. Turn it down stutter. Maybe motion blur just needs to go off entirely. Let's let's try that. Uh, not really. Okay. This pod is a piece of junk, not worth any maintenance, but I don't make the rules. Anyway, I was supposed to reassemble the oxygen system. Could you do it for me? It's pretty straightforward. Chill, camera. Chill. Bonk. Pod is a piece of junk, etc., etc., etc. Um, what am I doing? Reassemble oxygen system, right. Um, have you, have you told me how to do that yet? Have you, 
Have you told me how to do tin ball? Tin ball. It's probably not the oxygen system. Uh, out of order for maintenance. We'll fix it all for for 5 p.m. inspection. It's not like anyone is gonna need to use this old tin can anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Right. Oxygen system. Ah, here we are. CO2 to O2. Yeah. Start. Start. Okay. Oh. Oh. Why? Why is? Why is that a button? That very much feels like a VR control, but I don't know what it does. O2 system. Oxygen generator. Straightforward, you say. Straightforward, you say. Yep. This is the one. As you can see, it's empty. All the components are behind you on the workbench. Just grab a couple so we can get started. Components, you say? Yeah, the accent, uh, I, I don't have too much of a problem with it, but there are a couple words that throw me off. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll try to get to it. Okay, battery. Back. Just put all the components back inside the oxygen system. Uh, you can't get it wrong. They all only fit in their respective spots. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, alright. Uh, they'll fit in their respective slots. Okay, so they just go where they're supposed to go. Got it. Oop, nope, come back. Nope, come, come back. Um, button. Thing. Tin cans. Those do not... You told me it was straightforward. Why don't these tin cans go in the right slots? Alright, fine. Da -da -da -da. Plugging stuff in. Plugging Jerry? stuff. Hi. Uh, you should be done by now. Just turn the oxygen system on using the on-off switch. Pod technician manual. I don't need to read that. Uh, on-off button. Um, close. Well done. Uh, now we just need to check if everything is working properly. Yeah. Could you look at the monitor and switch to the error codes channel? Monitor. That's a that's a window. Monitor. Monitor. Error codes. Perfect. Um, now, as you can see, the oxygen bottle inside the system is empty. Could you swap it with the oxygen bottle located in the recycling station? Well, I can certainly give it a try. Oxygen bottle. Now, see, that says low pump. Um, that does not necessarily mean... That's the one. Hi. Uh, the recycling station converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Pretty useful, eh? Sure. Anyway, just uh, replace the empty bottle with this full one, and we'll be done. This isn't full. This is absolutely not full. Uh, eh. Eh. All right, we're done. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you can go back to your cleaning trolley. Wait, damn it, are you still there? Yeah. I'm detecting a leak in the pod. Could you uh, get the leak feeler? You might have to climb a bit. Uh, you can grab a handle with your free hand to get closer to the leak. Once you get closer to the leak, just uh, aim at it and use the leak feeler to close it. Alright, so freehand movement is going to be a thing. Uh, oh, E to you. Well done. There we go. I'm not detecting any leak anymore. Good. Uh, Great. we're all good. Good. Thanks for your help. Love it. Anyway, I gotta go. This damn reactor is driving me crazy. Taking these with me. He didn't send me into space and call it an accident. Huzzah! Alright, vital needs. Jerry? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Sorry to bother you again, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room, and I still don't have time to take care of that damn Medusa escape pod. You're gonna have to get inside that's the me. pod again. Jerry. That, that, that's me. Jerry. And Jerry. Okay, we're going, we're going back in the pod. We're going to check to see if the life support systems of the pod are working properly. 
I'm going to need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. Right. First, let's make sure that we have what we need to breathe properly, alright? I need you to find the oxygen system and to turn it on. You can't miss it. It's the top drawer with oxygen system written on it. You know, it's funny. He didn't tell me that it was easy to find and how to find it last time when he told me I needed to fix it. He just said it's self-explanatory, go do it yourself. So, on Earth, <laughs> at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is one bar, and the oxygen level is around 20%. Sure. That's our target. As you can see, we're all good here, and the value is green. Green's good, yep. But if the like value it. turns red and drops below 16%, you'll find yourself in hypoxia. Red bad, got it's it. It's not a good thing, as you can imagine. The opposite is also true. Too much oxygen can also be deadly, so always keep an eye on these values. Sure, love it. So, the pump inside the oxygen system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bottle into the air. Okay. Below the oxygen system, you'll find the carbon dioxide scrubber used to get rid of the excess of CO2. I need you to turn it on as well. Got it. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is just as deadly as not having enough oxygen. Your body breathes O2 in and exhales CO2. The value should never rise above 6% at one bar. Cool. You keep saying at one bar. I'm assuming... Oh. Pressure's right below that. Got it. Now let's check the <laughs> pressure generator right. uh, just below the CO2 scrubber. Getting ahead of myself. Sorry, Turn buddy. We'll, we'll, all right. We'll just wait for you to so say stuff. this system is here to maintain Purple? the atmospheric Good. pressure yeah. at one bar by releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The pod cannot sustain more than 1.7 bar, so be careful with too high pressures. Don't blow up it's the station. It's also Got it. important to remember that the required oxygen levels and the lethal levels of CO2 vary depending on pressure. Cool. All right. We're good for the Of course, the not going to tell systems. me that part. Now let's yeah. turn the temperature system on. It must be getting quite cold in here. Um, it's not labeled as temperature. Cool. You know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. I mean, sure. Without heating, you'll eventually freeze to death. But in a pod like this one, equipped with a hot atomic pile, you need some way to stay cool if you don't want to be cooked. Cool. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important when you're running the atomic pile at full power. Oh, bye kitties. They were doing stuff, so they were on screen. All right, you should be feeling warmer now. Sure. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Yep. Thanks for your help. All right. You can go back to your work. Okay, bye. And I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't cook us all in the next few hours. Ah. See ya. That was not an escape hatch to outside. Got it. Oh, I tried. Uh, power management. Let me guess, you can't keep all the systems on all at the same time. Hey, Jerry. Uh, it's me again. Hi. I yep, need that's your me. help with the pod. Jerry. Yep, Jerry. So I was installing a new atomic pile inside. So I'm going to cut oh. the external power connection so we can test the new atomic pile. Oh. <laughs> it's going to get dark in here, but don't worry. We'll bring life back to that old tin can. All right? I, I should have listened to him. I didn't listen to him. We're gonna die. Right. I need you to find the main reactor. It's located on the ceiling above the gravity generator. I need you to open it. Yep, you got it. Yep. Uh, cool. Now just turn it on, all right? Button. Perfect. You shouldn't see much of a difference right away. It takes a moment for the atomic pile to warm up. Atomic shield, the you say. The hotter it gets, the more power it produces. Do you see the ammeter below the generator? So the red needle indicates the energy produced by the pile, and the blue one indicates how much energy the active systems need to function. Got it. As you can see, it's above the red one. It means that the pile is currently not warm enough to produce all the required energy. I'm working on it. Now, I'm going to remotely lock the pile temperature for some tests. But in normal circumstances, it's the processor 
plugged into the main generator that controls this temperature to provide the required amount of power. Cool. I guess I don't need to tell you what happens when it breaks down, huh? Boom. Got it. It, it does have a little bit of the uh, FNAF phone guy feel to it. Just a little bit. See? The pile temperature is stabilized and the needle is not moving anymore. Could you turn the main computer on so I can look at the system status? Main computer logic system. Damn yes. it! I've locked the temperature too soon. <sighs> and there isn't enough power. Ah. Uh. Could you... Could you turn other systems off so we can save enough power to turn the main computer back on? Sure. We don't Just need keep breathing. an eye on the needles. You need to align them. We don't, we don't need breathing. This is fine. Yeah. Don't need that. Oh, now I can't see the... Okay, we need that one. Emergency lights can go off. Uh, pressure can go off. Temperature can go off. Computer off. Ah, do I have anything uh, off? Off. Ah, yep, we're good. Computer. Perfect. I'm getting the data. Thank you. Oh. If you ever have to operate an atomic pile, keep in mind that it's slow, capricious, and that it can get very, very hot. So, off. Uh, always make sure to protect your systems with a fuse and a transformer in case of overload. Got it. Anyway, it seems the new atomic pile is working fine. So that's it for me, and you can get back to your cleaning. No. No power. <laughs> Kitties, calm down. All right, failures and diagnosis. Spock, there's something on the wing. Some thing. <laughs> Howdy, smooth agent. How's hey, it going? Hey, Jerry. I know, I know. This is yep. the last time, I That's swear. Me, Jerry. Just get back inside the pod. There is a problem with the oxygen system you reassembled earlier. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I need you to take a look at it for me. Okay? Genuine people personality cores. Time and relative dimension in space. Ah. Hydraulic storage. General storage, computer storage, electronic storage, storage storage, uh, uh, it looks kind of like exception office, but it's not exception office. There's a, there's an extra letter or two in there. All right, fine. We're going in here. Thanks we don't get again, to go in the TARDIS. Man. You have no idea how much work it is to keep this escape pod in working order. I do Honestly, have an idea. You're making I, I me do it all. I would rather die than have to escape in this thing, even after a bunch of repairs. Hi, Sparkle. Anyway, the oxygen system has a problem, and I need you to check the error codes channel on its monitor. Oxygen. Error codes. Can do. Perfect. You should have the error list in front of you. The Obia. main computer usually translates the codes, but I had to take it offline for a while. I need you to find the pod operation manual. Everything you need to know about the pod is in it, including the error codes. Oh, so yeah. unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which pizza, one pizza. it is. Oh, and uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything, all right? Right, don't touch things, got it, okay. Model TAW270NH2. Pod Technical Manuel. Uh, let's see. Page 8, uh, uh, page 9, Oxygen Generator. Oxygen Generator releases oxygen in the atmosphere from an oxygen bottle located inside its panel. Green bars on the monitor indicate the ideal levels of oxygen with the current pressure. Uh, Required oxygen levels, blah, blah, blah. That's not helpful. Um, error codes? Do we have error codes listed somewhere? Error codes. Error codes. Oh, Bia. Okay. 
Obia is bad power transformer. I'm assuming. Cut. Page 31. Obia. 31. Obia. Bad power trans. Transformer is damaged. Causes and probable consequences. Is no longer protecting systems correctly from power surges. Got it. All right. Off. Uh, I don't think there is anything wrong with this one. So just put it back inside the system and read the manual again to find the right one. So unfortunately, I can't yeah. really help you from here. I ripped the power so button off instead of turning it off. So I'll let you grab the manual to find off. what the error codes mean. <laughs> okay. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which one it is. Power transformer. Yeah, I had a feeling yeah, this transformer wasn't working properly. Um, I need you to use the repair station to fix it. Oh. Put the transformer inside it, and it will tell you how many spare parts are needed for repairs. Do you see the numbers on the repair station? So the top screen indicates how many spare parts are required to fix the components. 11 and parts. And the bottom one, how many you currently have. Zero parts. So we don't have enough. Right. We need to dismantle something else to yep. get more spare parts. Cool. Just take the transformer out of the repair station. Oh. Okay. All right, so let's dismantle a component we don't need. Sure. I think I left a monitor on the workbench. Uh, put it inside the repair station, close the door, and press the dismantle button. All right. Shred. Well done. You now have Ooh. enough spare yeah, parts, parts to fix the transformer. You can throw the monitor away. It's dead now, anyway. Just put the transformer inside the repair station and press repair. Where do we have a throwaway? Do we have a trash? We have we have tin ball. And we can just go uh, hook. Wow, dude has zero throwing arm. Hook. Um, hook. Nailed it. All right, I need uh, I need you and then you and you and repair. Oh. By the way, I have new friends behind me. You can now put the transformer back inside the oxygen system. Uh, make sure it's turned off first. All right. Uh, once you're done, you can turn it back on. Okay. Well, well done. You're shove. really doing me a favor, so on. thank you. Uh, you can get back to your cleaning trolley, and I'm going to get back to work because this damn reactor is driving me mad. If you weren't such shit at repairing stuff, you wouldn't have the janitor repairing things for you. Oh. Jerry, but the ship's cooling system just failed. Warning. The reactor, it's reactor going to blow. You need to grab as many small, components yes. as you can in the storage rooms and evacuate right now. Oh. No matter Warning. what you do, do reactor not leave aboard that dead. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. Ah. This is not a drill. <laughs> Do not leave aboard the damn tin can. So that was all the tutorial, telling me how to do stuff. A uh, little bit fiddly on the controls, but I'll get used to it. Um, so let's do a rescue. Survive six minutes is the first challenge. Well, that's already concerning, but we're going to do it. So, the button. It's got a little bit of a 60 seconds kind of feel to it when that uh, reactor start going off. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Stop. Um, this is not a drill. No, I don't need a button. I don't Warning. need buttons. I need short cable. Evacuate Why not? Down imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Uh, air filter seems Evacuate like a good thing. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Can I have my badge? No, okay. Can't have Warning. my badge. Pump. Reactor Extra pump. Sure. 
17 seconds. And get one more pile of stuff from this one. Ah. This one. Monitor. Monitor. They're parts. You can use them. Button. Oh, but... I hate when that happens. I went to take a screenshot and the screenshot cut off the cutscene. I hate when that I hate when they haven't programmed for that. Um, maintain left or right click while aiming at a nearby handle to move around in zero G. Okay, we're not in zero G. Yeah. Okay. What what up? Oh, this is the tin can. This is our little this is our little tin can. I like it. Bonk. Okay, so How's everything looking? We have to survive for six minutes. How's everything looking? Nope, nope, don't. Main computer offline, PB28. Okay, main main computer. Main, main computer. Offline. Ah, I see. Well, good thing, I have one of these. Did they seriously not give me a main computer button? You know that button that I said I absolutely don't need? <laughs> okay. Ball. Oh, we got our own Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, he did the thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got stuff going on outside. Everything's bonking. Uh, you look normal-ish. Cool. Yep. Yep, we got stuff happening outside. Yep. Yep. Ow. Hmm. That seems like a bad thing. Master caution. Hmm. Hmm. Master caution. What, what's your what's your deal? No, no caution. Off. <laughs> Whatever the problem is, off. Uh. All right. Definitely panicking. Stuff's definitely probably ready to explode. Ow! Stop. All right. That looks fine. That looks fine-ish. Probably fine. So far, so good. How you doing? You, do, you doing good? Yeah, you doing good. Oh, that doesn't look good. That might not look so great. Panic! Howdy, sniper. Alright, so they did not give me a button. How do I, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Oxygen. Um... No button. On. What's, what's your deal? Main computer offline. And NAB2. Stop, stop yelling at me. I know I need oxygen. Oh, these aren't in any sort of useful order. That's cool. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, 017H. Hey, I need to breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm work. I'm working on it. What if I were to tell you? that I don't know how to fix this. Oh, I need a battery. Ah. Battery. 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 Lights. Emergency lights. You don't have a battery either. Ah. Lights? You don't have a battery either. 
Um, I could probably take a button from another system. Probably don't need it. Here, let's. We're going over pressure. Uh, hmm. Problem. What if you were to stop freaking at me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Breathing's hard. I only have a minute left. I probably can't survive that. So I really wish that. Getting hard to breathe in here. I know. Oh, that's that's fun to read. Uh, too low oxygen. No, no shit, Sherlock. Okay. What about NAB two? Or is it NA eight two? Low pump. Oh, okay. Low pump. Pump. You aren't on either. Oh, well, balls. Here, but, you know, it's hard to fix parts when they don't give me parts that work. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Jerry, can you hear me? No. It's me. I'm aboard a rescue ship. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. Nope. <laughs> Eight seconds left. Eight seconds left. Um, so, very much RNG based. Uh, very much panic based. Um, I, I don't... I don't know exactly how I was supposed to survive that, because I didn't have a main computer. Uh, I didn't have a repair station. Nor did I have any of the parts to do, to use such things. But we're going to try again. Well, clearly I jumped into the wrong pod, obviously. So, grab a variety of parts during the initial panic. Got it. Air filter. Uh, button. Because <laughs> clearly I need buttons. Let's see if I can get CRT. And, uh, sure, large processor, why not? Fuse. High capacity fuse. Sure, that sounds fine. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate Cable. Ah, uh, power evil. transformer. Yep. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown. Pump. Evacuate to the Air filter. Immediately. This is not a drill. I'm curious what happens if you don't actually make Reactor it out. Ah, uh, oh. What happens? <laughs> Cause of death, you're an idiot. <laughs> Here's, if your system is missing a data connector, I'll keep working without taking into account current values. Okay. So, I died because I didn't actually make it to the shuttle. Or the, the escape hatch thing. Whatever. We're going to try it again. Going to do a similar concept. Try to grab as much unique individual parts as I possibly can. Reactor um, Master warnings, data connector, on off button. Sure. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Filter. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Uh reactor views. Sure. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. You know what, lady? Reactor meltdown imminent. Here, you're making me feel bad. A buzzer. Sure. Immediately. I got a buzzer. This is not a drill. I think a buzzer was the least of my concerns, but I have it. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This <laughs> I didn't I didn't do it just right. Uh, 
Uh, I agree, Knight. It is a poorly designed escape pod that doesn't have sufficient supplies on board. They did call it a tin can and a piece of crap. So... Yeah, I, and the problem is I don't know what I need for the repair machine, so I need to Warning. take a look at that, I think. Um, I need power button and Warning. something else that I don't recognize. Alright, let's actually try to make it out of here this time. This is not a drill. Whatever you are, these things. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Sure. On off button. Master caution. Sure. Reactor meltdown imminent. I didn't need lights, but good enough. Okay, not gonna push the button this time. And the entire ship explodes. Okay, well, that was not an exciting cutscene. Neat. Okay, let's try that again. I have... I thought I had grabbed a CRT, but I did not grab a CRT this time. Alright, so how about... Power connector, fuse... Open... Oh, there's not a fucking thing in here! Alright, cool. There, master warning. Data connector. Large power connector. Nothing. Uh, fuse. Cool. Uh, power transformer. Do that. Aha! Power transformer. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I bring an on-off? I did bring an on-off button. How delightful is that? No pump. What about high capacity fuse? Do you go in here somewhere? No. Do you turn on? You do not turn on. Cool. Not having a repair thing is kind of challenging. So. Ah! Leak. 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 Are, are you a leak? Are you a leak? You're a leak! Haha! <laughs> Okay, so we're good on oxygen. Pressure is good. Cool. Alright, so... Ow. Well, main light's turned off. But... I could turn them back on again, so this is not a problem, I guess. Okay. Temp's fine. Ow. Could you not? That spark seems like a bad thing. It's probably fine. Nothing bad could possibly happen. Everything's good. We're fine. Rescue bacon. Rescue bacon. Ow. Stop that. Everything good still? Everything good? Ah! Not good. Not good. Well, oh, nope. I need you. Eh. Okay. I can deal with leaks. Leaks are a thing I can do.
suspiciously quiet out there. Hmm. Seems fine. stuff away. I'm a freaking CRT. Well, okay then, I guess. I got, I got buzzers. I got a uh, few, fuse. Nope. Nope. Um, power connect, power connectors. Nope. Oh. Uh. Ah. There it goes. Just, just being organized. Being organized. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. So where, where does this, this is high capacity? Yeah, high capacity. Organized. Everything's being crud. Everything's fine. Everything's good. I don't know where the air filters go. I don't think we have a capacity spot for that. Here, you guys can go there. Good. Well, have a seat. I'm gonna have a seat. Okay. Jerry? Hi. Can you hear me? Hello. It's me. Hi. I'm aboard a rescue ship. Hi, hello. Uh, we're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're gonna bring you home, alright? It does have supplies. Uh, that is that is good news. I'm gonna take this button and put it here on. Fuck. <laughs> hey, we did the thing! We did the thing! See, that one, the RNG was on my side. I didn't have to do much of anything except for repair a few leaks. So, cool. Uh, congratulations, you got rescued. I now have a large battery. Cool. Alright, alright. So how are you guys liking this game? Are you are you digging it? Are you digging my absolute panic dealing with this game? Uh, ranking not happening. Sandbox tutorial settings. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we're gonna try a ten minute. You're not sold. Why specifically? Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. You're not a drill. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. What is? Warning. Reactor meltdown Fine. Imminent. Just pumps. All of the pumps. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Battery. Battery. Batteries are good. So that gives you different parts to use. Or different parts to find. Button. Button. On off buttons. We'll turn on and off things is important. Cool. Cool. Um, so, can we get this thing working? Now that I know that we have actual parts. How about... 
master warning large processor no buzzer no okay power connector no battery storage battery big old power transformer nope okay uh, we got we got pumps so pumps I don't shit <laughs> pumps uh, high capacity I definitely do not have the same parts we got a data connector which is great but Definitely missing some parts. All right, cool. Let's see, Let's see about getting uh, you on. Can I do that? Power button. Nope, not that. This button. Button. So how do we go about getting the main computer started? How's how's that a thing? Ah, uh, component list. Here, let's uh, huh? Main main computer offline. Okay, well, fine. Main computer offline. How do we fix the main computer? Main generator. Main computer twelve. Cool. That's not terribly helpful, is it? Not terribly helpful at all. Cool. Um, right. Power components. Um, you. Power connector yeah okay got it um no, probably not need battery how about a large processor you need, do you need a large processor you need a large processor cool you got a large processor do you need a data connector you do good Um, on. Why am I hearing crackling? Why am I hearing crackling? Ah, cold. But it seems fine outside, or inside at least. Cool. That's why I heard crackling, because the windows are starting to freeze over. Cool. Um, very cool. Cold, even. Uh, I do wonder how I go about charging batteries. Battery fast charger. That seems like a thing. So I'm seeing large battery here, and I'm wondering if the large battery is responsible for the um, the rescue beacon. Now that that's a thing, I'm gonna have to keep batteries charged. I think is where we're going with the situation. Okay. So far so good. It's a little bit chilly outside, but we don't have to worry about that. Everything's fine. Oh, hey, we need, we need that. Yep, cool. Now this gives you a lot of information right away but you gotta learn to read it so we've got pressure looks like pressure's fine we're at one bar uh, N I don't I think that's with 80% comes in as the 80% nitrogen we're at low CO2 we're at 20% uh, oxygen 
We're using a lot less power than we're producing. Breathable. Everything's breathable. Temperature's good. And I think we're good for the moment. Until everything tries to start killing me. Um, now, this is dead. Uh, so let's get that charging. Maybe. Is the system on? Okay. By the way, is is it just me or is it kind of dim in here? Oh. Uh, caution. Oxygen low. Cool. Um. Sure. Off. Bottle. 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 On. Working on it. Fixing my problem. Leave me alone. Uh, CO2. Cool. Why are you cautioning me? What's what's your deal? On battery power. Ah. Um. Hmm. Cool. My batteries are not charging, which tells me I might have a power issue. A power issue. Hmm. Just, just power cycle it. It'll be fine. Does that mean I'm? Does that mean I'm using too much power currently? Is that what's going on? Here, let's uh. Turn off lights. Turn off that computer that's not working. Actually, the computer is working, because now that should say, yeah, code. Hmm. All right, well, let's, uh, let's uh, do that. Let's do that. See if we can get that going. So I, I'm not producing enough power. And they did not really tell me how to go about fixing that. So let's see about reading this thing. Like, there we go. Main generator, page eight. Cool. What now? What now? Ah. Breathing. Breathing is a problem. Got it. Um, so here's a problem. I don't have the knowledge on how to turn this thing on or off. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with you, sir. Shush. Hey, smooth agent. Speaking of which, that's what this little guy is. <laughs> I must squoosh him into juice to power my ship. Jerry, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, hi. It's hello. me. I'm aboard the rescue ship. Hi. Hello. Uh, we're almost there. Just. I don't, I don't know how to help you. All of the power buttons. I technically survived. Just barely. But, there's a lot I don't know how to do here. Congratulations, it got rescued. Now, CO2 to O2 recycler. Oh, so does that mean 
that I hadn't had access to that CO2 O2 recycler, and that's why that wasn't working the entire time. Cool. I was trying to use it, and it just wasn't working. But yeah, I, I got I got the I got the Ziggy because he was adorable. Oh. <laughs> Alright. So, shall we try a 15 minute? So here's the thing. Um, this is essentially endless roguelite. Survive longer and longer, keep keep going, etc, etc. So, um, do you guys want to see more of this? Or do we want to switch over to phoning home? Up to you guys. challenges do we have? Oh no. One button to rule them all. Does that mean you have a single power button and you have to keep swapping it between systems to turn everything on and off? Oh no. Kinder says different game. The one defers vote to me. Anyone else with an opinion on more of this or phoning home? Deal. And while we wait for that, we'll do we'll do a little bit of a we'll do a little bit of a kitty treat time because of, because they want it. Zappy's here for the ride for whatevs. I am enjoying it. Um, I do feel like, and, and and to be fair, this was described in the Steam page, I feel like they're expecting you to die a horrible, horrible death many times over before you learn what you're doing. Um, and I'm feeling that. I'm definitely feeling that. Uh, let's do another six minute one, just to, just to feel better about myself. Six minutes, it's a short run, and then uh, we'll, we'll see... If anyone else chimes in on whether we want to continue this or or another game, evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Pump. Reactor sure. I, I don't need these many pumps, but they're parts. If I ever get to use the recycler. This is not a drill. I think that was the part that got me before, was thinking that I could use parts. I don't think I even have access to the recycler yet. Uh, short another cable. Uses. Uh, air filters, sure. This is not a drill. I think that's all I got. Warning. <laughs> Hissing kitties. Oh, that's not a treat. That's just that's just carpet fluff. <laughs> Gila's looking at me like, why is that not a treat? Pause it for a sec. Give him a couple more. I know, I know. Come on. Boys, 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 boys. Here, and a couple, and a couple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hissing kitties, right behind you. Okay, well, let's, let's have a little bit of a peaceful run, shall we? I, I didn't grab any on-off buttons today. 
Dang it. We'll see what we got in here. Uh, display. Sure. feels designed for VR because I'm accidentally bumping into stuff. Ah, you need stuff. So this, this is the part that I'm struggling with. The part about how, what parts go where. Because there's nothing that indicates what parts go where when you're looking directly in the thing. Apparently that goes there. So that's a, a learn-as-you-go type situation, I bet. Ow! Alright, data connectors. Large processor, no. I bet that needs an air filter. That doesn't need an air filter. Why does the O2 scrubber not need an air filter? Whatever, it's fine. Uh, we need something else in there, but I don't know what. It, stop. I don't. I don't know what exactly. It's on. Okay. Good enough. It was a bigger shipper station. Ah! What just happened? Something started sparking. We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's exploding. No pressure. We don't need pressure. Pressure's fine. Oh. Silence. We're just barely at power generation. Cool. Alright, that's fair. I don't need no stinking gravity. Turn off gravity. I don't need no stinking gravity. Yeah, I don't need no stinking gravity. We'll be fine. Yeah, having a bigger ship like this would be kind of neat. As long as it wasn't like tight quarters panic like this is. Like, you know, actual time to get between systems kind of thing. Um, that that would be that would be neat. There was a, a game that I played during Steam Next Fest called uh, USS Tempest, and it looked kind of sort of like you'd have access to the whole ship and repairing systems and whatnot. But I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm still waiting for that one to come out to see what it's gonna look like. I mean, so far we're good. We've got a minute and a half left. Everything's fine. This, that turning off gen or turning off uh, gravity did not help my power situation. I don't know exactly why we're low on power, but we are. And this CRT doesn't work. Okay, you know what? Screw you. That still doesn't work. Okay. Well. Uh, I, I don't think I know how to fix this problem. I don't think I know how to fix the problem of why this thing isn't turning on. Whatever. I don't need it. That's fine. Um, 
Where did that thing go? I don't know where that CRT went. Oh, there it is. Hi. Jerry? Can you hear me? Hi. It's me. I'm aboard the rescue ship. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We'll be fine. We're gonna bring you home, alright? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. How do generate gravity? Uh, push that button down there. <laughs> That's how. That's how. Alright, we did the thing. I did six minutes. I I think it would be a lot more fun in VR, honestly. That run did seem easy. I think I had one hole to fill. And the only main issue was that power was at capacity, so I couldn't turn anything else on. I, did, I only had one thing to turn on that I didn't need. It was fine. But yeah. I think that'll be it for Tin Can for tonight. Uh, I probably will revisit this when the full VR comes out. I, I might test the current VR system on my own uh, at some point whenever I feel like it, um, but I probably won't stream that. I'll wait until the full new version of the VR comes out and we'll maybe try that again. Um, I would say for me and my personal enjoyment, I would probably play this a few more times at most just because I don't typically go through roguelite type situations all that often. Enjoyable a couple times through, but that's about it. So that'll be it for Tin Can for the night.